welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to learn how to prepare the c file for any input file from quantum expresso so the first thing we need to do is to go to a file that is prepared so this is a file and when you open it this is the input file is the quantum expresso input file so the first thing to do to prepare the C file is to open this particular file using xcrystal. So I can go to my terminal and type then from here I can come bring out my xcrystal. So once you open your file with the help of XCRIS then, then we can save this file using our XSF file. So we'll come here and save using this path. We can put a name, let's say VPDVA. And you can see it is a .xsf file. So I'll say save. Then I can close this file. This part. So this is the xsf file that I have. So this one was the input file from Quantum Express. So um, this is the xsf that XQuiz then has converted for me. So I can go and open my Vesta. So open my Vesta. I can minimize it. Then I'll minimize this one also. Then I'll drag this one into this place. So I'll drag into this place so now that I've dragged it I can expand this one now that I've dragged it into this this one is the simplest form of the crystal structure but we want it back in the cubic form so we'll go to this place file edit edit data structural parameter and I click unit cell I already know the space group of this. The space group of this compound is 216. So I go to 216. 216. This 216. So I click on it, then apply. Then I can close this one. So this is my structure. This is my structure. So now that I have this structure, I can now save it. File, export data. Now, for me to export data, I can still name it as VPDGA. You can see it is now in the C file. Then I'm saving it inside the same folder. So I can say save. So I can close this one and go back. So this is my C file. So if I open my C file, this is what I will have. Now the importance of C file is that you might want to use another code to run this particular input file. And that code might not be compatible with this input file. So what you now do is to convert this one to C file. This C file can now be used by that other code like VASP, Crystal, and maybe we 2 k Those other code can convert this one to a file that is suitable with their own file. So that's the importance of C file. Then also sometimes um, your journal editor might ask you to produce the C file of what you have used to run your calculation. So it's important you um, produce it and um, send it to them. 
I hope this video helps. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.